Who? Oh, Sunisha, thoughts on Costco? Me and Adam absolutely love going to Costco, even if it's just to get dinner. Well, that's funny, because that's what we're talking about today. <laughs> Costco is a company well known for its customer-centric business model and the fact it often puts the wants and needs of its employers above the wants and needs of shareholders. Shareholders, it should be noted that Costco co-founder James Sinegal has repeatedly told to go and fuck themselves whenever they floated the idea of raising prices of Costco staples. In particular, Sinegal is known to have a fondness for the company's hot dog combo, something he said he's willing to die over. So far away, Nisha, the Costco hot dog combo is pretty famous, but um, there may be people out there who don't know what it is. Would you like to explain to them what exactly I'm talking about? Yeah, so the hot dog combo is basically you get a hot dog and a drink for a really cheap price. I think in like America it's $1.50. Yeah, $1.50. And over here it's £1.50, which is still a pretty good price, even taking into account the difference in value between the currencies. And the reason the Costco hot dog combo deal is so famous is because it has been $1.50 since it was introduced to the menu of Costco food courts way back in 1985 and it has remained at that price since then, never once changing. And for people wondering, um, $1.50 for a big ass hot dog and a refillable drink um, was a really good deal back then and it's a fucking amazing deal now uh, to the point where industry analysts don't know how Costco is able to sell it and make a profit. Because the, the famous story about that is, um, they were being told, like pressured by shareholders, like you need to raise the price of these hot dogs. We're getting, like, make some more money on these fucking hot dogs. And they went, nah, we, we, we know a way to cut costs. It's like, what is it? We're just gonna buy a hot dog factory. <laughs> <And> <laughs> yeah, why is, not? Why not? Fuck it, like, you got the money to do it. And there is a, a persistent industry rumor I am inclined to believe because it's fucking hilarious. And that rumor is that uh, the hot dog company that previously made Costco hot dogs realized that they had the company over a barrel. It's like, oh, well, this, this deal is famous. Like, people go to Costco's food court to buy this deal. That's how good it is. And they only yeah. buy hot dogs from us. There's no way they're going to go to another supplier because then they'd have to change the, like, the taste of the hot dogs, which they're not going to do. So fuck it, let's raise the wholesale price. And in response, the company just bought a fucking factory that makes hot dogs. <laughs> Like, that's so good. I don't know if that's true. Like, it's an industry rumor that's been going around for a few years, but I'm inclined to believe it given how few fucks the company seems to give when it comes to like, you know, dealing with that sort of business shenanigans, as we're about to discuss. So yeah, it's not just the hot dogs that are cheap, it's pretty much everything they sell mm -hmm. at the food like in the food courts. We've had the massive slices of pizza, which are like £1.80, and they are massive. They hang in the, the plates. <laughs> they're the size of a pizza themselves, and there are various things Costco does to keep um, costs down, such as making a lot of their stuff in-house, uh, to the point where um, they actually sell more hot dogs than every baseball stadium in the United States combined, I believe. Is this a statistic that's thrown around? Like, we sell more hot dogs than baseball stadiums. That's how, like, you know, synonymous the hot dog is with Costco. And then, like, pizza. They make miles of pizza every single day. Again, all in-house using their own ingredients and usually factories to make um, uh, the base parts of those ingredients. It's like, yeah, that would keep costs down. <laughs> and my experience with Costco is quite limited because I can't drive. So I can't really do the thing of driving to Costco and get, like, 400 cans of Coke or something. But... <laughs> When I was over in LA, my friend, uh, I remember distinctly queued up for 20 minutes when we were driving around to go to Costco because their petrol is so cheap. It's like, even their fucking petrol's cheap. And that's in America where it's already dirt cheap as it is. So yeah, Costco own their own hot dog factory. So yes. it makes sense that they could sell hot dogs for quite cheap. Yeah, that's the point, but there are still industry rumours that Costco sells the hot dogs at a loss because, as I mentioned, as they own the factory that produces the hot dogs, uh, they are under no obligation to release the figures on how much they cost to produce. And as such, there are rumours, oh, they sell them at a loss. A rumour, it should be pointed out, that Costco strongly denies, insisting that they make a profit on every item they sell, um, even if it is a very small profit, uh, with the sole exception of items that are discounted due to damage or things like that. Uh, so they, it's conceivable they could be making like a single penny on those hot dogs, but that doesn't matter when you sell like a billion of them. <laughs> but I love the idea though, like the co-founder of Costco, uh, James Sinegal, like, he loves this hot dog combo. When people brought up the idea, do you sell them at a loss to get people through the door? Are Costco hot dogs a loss leader? If people don't know what a loss leader is, that's a, a product or service that is sold at a loss to encourage people to come through the door. Uh, for example, in the UK, some stores will sell milk and bread. 
uh, at cost or at a loss uh, because it's a staple item a lot of people will buy in their weekly shop and it's worth selling at a loss to make the profit on the more luxury items that they will buy while in the store but Costco do not do loss leaders according to Cynical and when that idea was presented to him he angrily refused it saying no we make a profit on everything we sell I'm just a good businessman fuck you don't <laughs> insult my hot dogs it's a pretty simple lesson isn't it don't insult Cynical sausage but people still do and he has given the sausage like a stalwart defence in the past and people talk about well it's so cheap surely it can't be good quality it's, like, it's excellent quality it's better quality than the hot dogs sold in baseball stadiums and they cost $8 each I'm very proud of our hot dog. It's a great deal. The hot dogs are amazing. They're made with like, American beef. <laughs> they taste super nice. It's a great deal. It's awesome for our customers. And it's like one of the things that brings people to our store. Fuck you, don't insult the hot dog. All right, so what is this about him dying over the hot dog? Well, like, over the years, as I mentioned, like, the cost of the hot dog has become more and more unbelievable because it has not raised in over 30 years at this point. And it has become one of like, the most iconic items on the Costco food court menu and Senegal gets asked about it all the time. Even now, he's no longer involved with the company. He's still in a spiritual sense like a figurehead in the company, but he has no real power over it. And he still gets asked to talk about his hot dog, his like business lectures and stuff like that. But uh, for example, in 2009, um, the hot dog was brought up in an interview with him and he, he like, you know, gave the rousing defense I just mentioned of like, it's great quality, it's a great deal. Um, I love the hot dogs. And they asked him, well, the price though, it's been the same for like 30 years. What would it mean if the price raised and Senegal turned to the interviewer and without thinking just said, that I'm dead. <laughs> it's like straight right, right in the eye. I, uh, if the price raises, I am dead. That is the <laughs> okay. only answer because it will not raise as long as I am alive and have the ability to just like fuck people up for trying to do it. And folks at home, this is by no means an idle threat because in a later interview uh, with the current CEO of Costco, Craig Jelinek, he was asked about the hot dog, which is hilarious to me that these super big businessmen keep getting asked about this fucking hot dog. Anyway, Jelinek gave the same browsing defense of the hot dog that uh, Senegal has given in the past. It's a great deal. It's a great hot dog. To which the interviewer responded, well, have you ever thought about raising the price? And Jelinek thought for a moment and recounted the following paraphrase story. Um, well, there was one time that we were getting hammered by investors over the hot dog telling us that we've been killed on it. Like, we, we're not making any profit on this thing. You need to raise the price. And I went to speak to James Sinegal. And during a conversation, I asked him about the idea of raising the price of the hot dog, to which he responded quite bluntly, um, if you raise the price of the hot dog, I will fucking kill you. Make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to his face. If you raise the price of the hot dog, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> oh and Jelenic, <laughs> Jelenic said, I, I went back to the investors, told them it was a no-go, and we figured out a way to lower the price. I will fucking kill you. What a quote that is. I love it. I'm just really in love with the idea of this old man, and I picture it like that scene in The Godfather. Do you know when Marlon Brando sat in the chair? And yeah. you have like the huge, big, scary gangster guy outside the office, like nervously rehearsing what he's going to say <laughs> to the Don, like, to Don Corleone. I imagine it's like that. Don Corleone. I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home. But people are like, oh God, I, I need to go ask about the hot dog. And people are like working themselves up to go ask about the hot dog. And then the person who's like second in line hears like this screaming argument of like, I will fucking kill you. And he just comes out and goes, <laughs> don't ask about the hot dog. <laughs> and like everybody leaves. Oh, he's really, really passionate about this hot dog combo. <laughs> don't mess with Senegal sausage. Costco is largely regarded as one of the best employers in the entire United States. And you can go online and find endless testimonials for people who work there. So this is one of the best places to work. Uh, the employee benefits are great. The pay is fantastic. Um, they will help employees in any way they can. Um, actually, with stuff like healthcare, which is like, you know, a big issue in America. They have like an employee yeah. pharmacy people are allowed to use. They have like in-house optometrists if people need glasses, stuff like that. And it's, like, it's an all-around great place to work. And... Um, as you might imagine, shareholders fucking hated that because all those nice things that Senegal um, did for the employees cost money. And that's money that could be in the shareholders' pocket. And on numerous occasions, Senegal reportedly got into screaming arguments with investors and shareholders um, who were criticizing him for putting the needs and wants of his employees above their profits. And he's like, fuck you, happy <laughs> employees work better. The reason I like that is because that's basically the dad from Richie Rich. 
Do you remember Richie Rich at all? Vaguely, you might have to uh, refresh my memory. Okay, well, the dad in Richie Rich. Oh, God, water went everywhere there. It's not coffee, folks, it's water. <laughs> I'm already too excitable today, so let's to talk about hot dogs. Uh, well, the dad in <laughs> Richie Rich, like, he runs like Rich Enterprise, I think it is. And his whole thing mm -hmm. is, I have never fired anyone. I, I want every person who works for me to feel secure in their job and, be and receive great benefits and pay because happy workers work harder, work better, and when they feel secure in their job, they want the company to succeed. And Cinegal has a very similar business ethos, which shareholders fucking hate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you know, the, the comparisons don't end there because that great moment in Richie, which I fucking adore, and it is where um, Richie takes over the family business and he's sat there in the big chair and the dickish board members talking about how yeah, we really need to like, shear up some profits. Um, we need to trim the fat. It is our job to cut the fat. Mr. Van Doe, my father never fired anybody. He always said that when people are secure in their jobs, they work harder, they work happier, they work better. If you think we need to trim the fat, let's start right here and gives everyone on his board a pay cut. I say we start right here. What a fucking dump. I love it. 